Good day viewers, you are welcome. Let's solve these nice functional equations. But this question, I solved this yesterday and I call it method one. So I'm going to be presenting another method. If you have not watched the first one, please do it to watch it and uh, like and share and subscribe to my channel. So let's see how we can solve it and uh, I will be a little bit fast because I've solved it already. So by considering the solution here, we have f of x squared and this is only f of x. This looks like a quadratic, right? Then by rewriting this one or let's say we firstly let f of x here. Let's say we let f of x to be a particular variable. Let's call it t. Then we change this one to t squared plus here is t. So let's take the whole of this to this side. It comes with negative open bracket 25x squared plus 10x divided by 4 equals 0. Let's apply the quadratic formula here. So comparing it with the general uh, general equation of quadratic, so here becomes the variable which is t. Then we have minus b. Minus b is the coefficient of this t, which is 1. We have it as minus 1, then plus or minus. So we have the square root of b, which is 1 squared. Ma we have plus 4ac. And because I'm going to use plus because of this negative. So negative here with that negative in the formula, we change it to positive. Then we have 4 bracket 25x squared plus 10x divided by 4. So everything here divided by 2. If this is what we have, then t equals minus 1 plus or minus we have square root of 1 squared here that is 1 4 and 4 cancel each other then we have plus 25 x squared plus 10 x divided by 2 by proceeding here is 25 x squared plus 10 x plus 1 the whole of this one is given as let's say we have minus one plus or minus square root of everything here becomes 5x plus 1 squared this is what we have so we can just try and uh, expand 5x plus 1 squared we are going to get 1 plus 25x squared plus 10x and this one divided by 2 by taking the square root of 5x plus 1 all squared what we get here is t equals minus 1 plus or minus the absolute of 5x plus 1 and this is also in absolute divided by 2 so since we have plus or uh, minus uh, which concludes that the first value of t here it comes when we distribute it is positive and negative to this. We get 5x over 2. And uh, t is also the other part, which is minus 5x minus 2 divided by 2. But we let f of x initially to be t. So we can then conclude that the value of f of x for the first one is 5x over 2. And also the second one, t equals f of x equals minus 5x minus 2 divided by 2. This is how to solve this with the second method. Let's solve this one with the last method I have here with me. But if you have another method of solving this, you can drop it in the comment box. And please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell for more videos. For method 3, we have f of x. Here is the question. Squared plus 
f of x equals 25x squared plus 10x divided by 4. At these two sides, let's add 1 divided by 2 squared to each other, which is 1 over 4. By adding that, we have f of x squared plus f of x plus 1 over 4 equals 25x squared plus 10x over 4 plus 1 over 4. So after adding this 1 over 4, with this one it carries squared and this 1 over 4 as well, it is also the same thing as when we have it as 1 over 2 squared. These two are the same. Then so they are the same, and it's more of where we have a squared plus, we have this as f of x, let me just call this one a, then plus 1 divided by 2 squared. So the result of this becomes a plus 1 over 2 squared. This is what we have for these old expressions. By doing that, it becomes f of x plus 1 over 2 squared equals, so this side, 25x squared plus 10x over 4 plus 1 over 4. It becomes 25x squared plus 10x plus 1 divided by 4 and initially 25 x squared plus 10 x plus 1 from the first method everything is 5 x plus 1 here we have f of x plus 1 over 2 squared equals 5 x plus 1 divided by 2 all squared so if you cancel squared and squared we only get one solution here, so we will not get the other solution. This is more of difference of two squared, which one comes with positive and the other comes with negative. By trying to apply it, we are going to get our result of the first one, f of x here, will be equals, for the positive side, 5x plus 1 divided by 2, then we have this as minus 1 over 2. And uh, the final result of this, it gives us 5x over 2. Uh, when we consider the negative part of this as well, we are going to have f of x equals minus open bracket 5x plus 1 over 2, then minus 1 over 2. So, and everything here as well, it becomes f of x equals minus open bracket, or let's say minus 5x minus 2 divided by 2. This is correct, and this is correct for the first and the second method. Thanks for watching, and if you have another method of solving this, different from this, the first one, second one, and the third one, we can drop it in the box. So we like to learn together. See you in the next video, and please don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.